All right. I kind of cut myself off last video at the end. I was getting, I got all flustered by the amount of time I was taking. DC Superstar 17. I'm calling this the first appearance of Huntress. That's what uh, DC, the DC Wiki is saying. Some people say this is our, I think, I think I got this correct. Some people say this is the origin I'm just assuming that because it says Secret Origins of Superheroes. And All-Star Comics number 69 could be considered our first appearance. I think they came out the same week. Something like that. Something crazy. You can, you know, whatever. So, got that for 10 bucks. So, check it out. Manifest Destiny. Pick them up. Now. Go snatch them if you know where there's any copies out there. This book, and I'm just hitting it right off the bat. Got to get my zombie fix in. It's kind of like a zombie book. I wasn't sure, really. When I first saw the ad for it, I was like, this looks kind of boring. Let me get this out of here. Let's get these guys. Let's get those guys front and center, because this, this is one of my new favorite books. When I first saw this, this ad, this cover, I didn't really notice the, the actual graphic down there um it's it's a really cool cool concept cool story lewis and clark on their expedition west and you know it, it's got a weird kind they're kind of like zombies i guess you could say a little twist in there and it's up to issue four right now just read up to issue four really cool really cool storyline and this this book is getting real hot i got the two of these for 18 bucks but these are both first prints. Let me show you. I picked up a second print. Here's here's the second print. Actually, now that I look at them side by side, I was going to say you can't really tell the difference, but right here, ever so small, font size 2, it says second printing under it. I mean, it, it kind of looks like this one's more pink and that one's purple, but you really can barely even tell. And I assume number two has gone to a third print because I know issue three has gone to a third print. Issue four has gone to a fourth print. And there is a, uh, a variant cover and then there's like a convention cover from Long Beach Comic Con, which is really hot. Really, It's just a sketch cover of this, but it's very popular. There's only like 250 or 450 printed, I think. That's that's well over a hundred. Um, I, I think this book could, it's got the potential to do something like Saga, as far as people really like the story. The artwork is great. You know, I'm just saying as far as uh, in relation to Saga, that's Saga is one of those books that only comes along every once in a while that really uh, catches fire and. You know, it's over a year old, Saga is, and first issue now is going for a hundred bucks. Six months ago, I remember talking to my friend about it, saying, oh yeah, I gotta pick that one up, issue number one. It's about forty bucks now, and I didn't want to spend forty bucks on it, but I did like the story a lot. And he was really pushing Saga and East of West hard. Saga was is the winner right now. That book's really taken off. So, what I'm saying is, get these now while you can for an affordable price. Don't be like me and, and say, well, I'll get, it. I'll get it next week, and then it goes through the roof. I don't know if it will, but I think it has the potential of any of the new books that are out. You know, I don't read them all, but, but this one I really like, and it seems like other people do. So, got some eBay purchases here. I got Legion of Superheroes, 37 and 38, The Death of Superboy. Kind of a hard book to find. There's, I think there's about three, three or four volumes of Legion of Superheroes, and these ones are usually gone because they're, there's not many of them that hold any value. I ended up getting these for, oh, I got this for a good deal. I paid about $7.50 for the two of these. And these are 10 bucks each. Hmm. All right, I scored on those. 
another score. Super excited to get these. Cat, beware the claws of the cat. One through four. Now, I paid about $24 for the four of these books. And these things are in great condition. But, well, shoot. This one doesn't look too hot now that I look at it, does it? That's fine. I think I think number one was one of the worst of the grades that he had. Yeah. Hey, that stinks. Well, still, I think 24 bucks for the four of these, six bucks a piece, you're not going to find that anywhere. I mean, these are 10 15 to $20 books each. So I was real happy to get those. And cool little series. There's only four issues. I got one through four. I also picked up this, just like a throw in from the same seller. I was looking to see what he had. Hulk 166. Nothing too spectacular, except this thing's in really nice condition. And I got this for. It was four bucks. I'll take it. Alright. Next up, this is my local comic shop that I like the most, the closest to me. The cool thing about this shop, every time I've gone in there, he's always looking through books and um, always buying stuff. And they keep their, he's got like three quarter boxes and then he has one box that's 50 cents or a dollar each. And those he he flushes through them pretty quick which is awesome because I like doing the I like finding those super awesome deals these were each a quarter and they're in great condition Wolverine Origins 21 Deadpool you know Deadpool and Wolverine I'll pick those up for a quarter any day Fanta Ultimate Fantastic Four number one it's it does a whole lot of value I think they printed a lot because I'm pretty sure that was the first Ultimate series but I keep seeing it in boxes. So it's one of those karma things where I'm hoping if I take if I buy one, then I won't see it as much. And maybe I'll see like a Ultimate Fantastic Four number 21, first Marvel Zombies. Who knows? Uh, this one I, I talked about last couple videos ago, Drum Heller. And I I got a chance to catch up on it. Um, I, I like this series. It, it's it's kind of it's been kind of slow, but the artwork just keeps me coming back for more. But it I think it could be an interesting series. Nothing. It's not. It doesn't have my attention as much as Manifest Destiny. But I got each of these for fifty cents, so I figured pick them up. Who knows? Might do something. And another book that you've seen before that I've talked about, Superior Spider-Man number 20. I picked up two more of these. I think I have like four or five of them now. Black Cat. You know, just kind of riding the wave a little bit of Amazing Spider-Man 606 and 07. The Black Cat covers by J. J. Scott Campbell that have gone over 20 bucks each. You know, I don't know if this will do anything. I'm still finding these for a buck, but... It's it's got some sex appeal on the cover. Superior Spider-Man, who knows? Give it give it some time. All right, a new newer book, Batman 28. First appearance of Bluebird, who is Harper Rowe. Could be the could be Batman's next sidekick. And down here you see glimpse into Batman Eternal. The end of this story has uh, this this book is also the first appearance of spoiler I think is her name the character and it's Stephanie Brown Steph Brown who I've shown you this before detective 647 this is her first appearance you can pick this up for a dollar so Batman 28 Steph Brown's gonna go into this uh, Batman eternal line so you know it may be worth Looking at, looking back, picking up that Detective 647 since it looks like she'll be a character, at least from the beginning, uh, that could play a decent role. Alright. Oh, speaking of Black Cat, 
and sexy covers and J. Scott Campbell. How about Ultimate Spider-Man 152? This is the number on it on this was weird because they did Ultimate Spider-Man up to whatever 100 or or something, and then they started over again in the. This is like the Ultimate Comics series, and then it folded back into Ultimate Spider-Man. The numbering's weird, but anyway, cool cover. I got this for four bucks. You know, I think I think there's some potential there. I just I'm surprised these other covers are out there, and those Amazing Spider-Man have picked up so much. So I'm gonna grab stuff like this. X-Factor 15, kind of a, a radar book, a little speculation. First appearance of Horseman of the Apocalypse. Paid two bucks for this and he called it a very fine. Um, you know, Apocalypse is going to be in the, the upcoming X-Men movie. Horseman of the Apocalypse are obviously associated with him. So maybe there's some potential there. Maybe. Who knows? Two bucks. You know, X Factor, X Factor, and New Mutants have had a bunch of characters come out of there, so we'll see. Transformers number eight, Dinobots. It's kind of their first appearance. This is like their the the Marvel Wiki calls this the repaired Dinobots. I forget what issue it was. I think it was three or five, where they were on like a computer screen and they got destroyed in the same issue. So this is like really their, you know, their debut in comic form, I guess you could say. Um, and they're going to be in the new Transformers movie, so I don't know. Maybe something, maybe not. I only paid two bucks for it. New Teen Titans 22, Brother Blood. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, you know, Huntress, the, the first book I showed, she's on the Arrow show, so it's Brother Blood. And this is his first cover appearance. 21, which I've shown you before, is his first appearance. But it seems like this pair, 21 and 22, can command some money. And I got this. You called it a fine, very fine, for 250. You could probably get a, a near mint for four bucks. But it's a neat cover too. And arrow. Conan 248. Controversial cover. With the decapitation. Paid four dollars for this. I don't know. I usually don't buy Conan, but uh, I saw this somewhere. It, the Conan collectors, they will pay top dollar for a nice, great book. And I think I saw one go for like over a hundred bucks or eighty bucks for this book for a, for a slabbed one, probably a nine point eight slabbed. So speaking of J. Scott Campbell. Sexy covers. How about the Mary Jane 51 and 52 Amazing Spider Man, which is 492 and 93. And I don't think he had 50, but 50 through 52 are the, the J. Scott Campbell covers, which are, um, I think they're still undervalued. I paid three bucks each for these. And so I'm kind of scooping these ones up too. Just, just thinking, hey, maybe these are the next covers to blow. These are worth more than the other books around them in the in the run. So I think if, if over time they'll definitely be worth more than the, the other books around them. Plus uh, the covers are really cool. I really like this one. Fifty one seems fifty two seems to be the easiest one to find. Fifty one and fifty are a little bit harder to find. And finally from comic shop one that I've been looking for for a while in an affordable price and 20 bucks I had been looking for probably four months or so and it seemed to be hovering around there now I'm seeing it up to 30 or even 40 bucks for the first print of Hawkeye number one and this was actually in this this shop's long box and I looked at it probably two other times and it's a white cover like the first most of these in the Hawkeye series are white cover unless they're a, a different printing. And it's it's in good. Looks really nice. So I went up and you know I did like I said, did my 
my bargaining technique. I said, "These this stack here looks good. Can you do any better on this? 20 bucks? And he goes, oh, yeah, I was going to give you a discount on all of them. I said, oh, shoot, do your thing. So he ended up giving me like 20% off all the books that I had. So this was about 16 bucks, which super happy to get it for that price. There's another local shop I go to. They got it for 30 bucks, and I wasn't going to pay 30 for it. So, awesome book. Glad to have it. Mark it off the checklist. Um, I went. I went to. Found something on eBay, so I went to check it out. Probably about an hour away, so it was a little bit of a drive. And this guy had like. He had a bunch of older stuff. It was in ratty condition, and they just not nothing, no keys or anything. But I did go through the the 50 cent box. He had um, shoot 50 cents each or five for two bucks. So here's what I found: Angela Glory number one, whatever, nothing special. Preacher 33, Grim Jack 26. Now this is an early appearance of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This story actually, I think it was printed in issue 4 of Ninja Turtles, the first series. And there was something like, there's like a bar named in the, the Ninja Turtles story. And it had, I think the artwork was the same, but they changed like some of the names as far as some of the scenery and stuff. So it's a cool book. Kind of hard to find. X Factor 23. Got another one of those. First cameo Archangel. Eternal Warrior 2. So these are all 50 cents. And can't believe I found a number 4. Which I had been looking for. Knew it, I knew I could find this book. If I had searched long enough. First appearance of Bloodshot. He's got a one cameo. He's got one panel cameo in the in the end of it, but this is what's considered his first appearance. Again, why is one panel in this book considered the first appearance, and one panel in other books is considered a cameo? I don't know. So not only did he have one, but he had two of them, and this one is actually signed by kind of few important. He's like the uh, he's the guy that does the the lettering for the. For the the captions and check that out solar number two for 50 cents goodness and throw these in they're not they're not great copies they're kind of beat but 59 and 60 the last two issues of solar man of adam um, they're they're really tough to find this one commands about 20 bucks in near mint this one, I don't know, 15 probably. So I got all of these books for three bucks. And the, like I said, these ones aren't in great shape. The spines are a little beat. But I've never even seen it um, at a store or anything. I've seen them online. But I'll take that. So that was cool. And I went to another shop near there. And I'm going through, I walk in, the guy's got boxes a ton of new stuff um, he's got the long boxes and the shop was not great but I'm glad I went there because they have those long boxes where you you pull it out uh, it's got cardboard all around it and then you pull it out which is great if you have a bunch stacked up and I'd been thinking about getting them but they are very hard to use and I would not recommend them just get the just get the boxes with the lids just move them out of your way they're they're much easier to use so I started pulling some books out and half the most of the stuff was not even bagged. Not bagged and boarded in boxes. It looked like you had just bought like somebody out and didn't didn't bother bagging any of them. So I started pulling a bunch of books out and obviously no prices. And I said, Well, how much are your books here? I, I was thinking they'd be a dollar each. They're not bagged or boarded. He goes he says, Oh, I use Overstreet. And I'm like, Are you freaking kidding me? You're going to charge me guide prices, but you don't even store your books properly. I mean, get the heck out of here. So, then the game was afoot. And I thought, what books can I get that have not been adjusted in Overstreet? 
this is one of them alpha flight 17 not the first appearance of big hero 6 but but some say but but the conception is that it is sunfire and big hero 6 number one is the first appearance of them but this one caught this one caught on more probably because it's in a more known series alpha flight um and they got a disney movie coming so it, it heated up and it's really just kind of cooled off now but that was cool to find and x factor number five. Oh, so that one he charged me three this one he charged me eight i think which i was surprised it was even that high in over street but it's a it's a very nice copy so i said all right i'll take that and i got a another copy of new guardians number two first uh first of the cocaine man so i think that one was three bucks also so you know not a great store i won't go back but just just cool to hunt out some of those books that you know you you can if you're gonna use the guide that's fine but i'm still gonna get you on something i got a ton more books but that's all my time for today so See you soon and keep trolling those dollar boxes.